So you had this city, a Jebusite city, surrounded by Judah in the south and by Benjamin in the north, meaning this was not a part of any tribe. David's goal was to unify the 12 tribes of Israel for the first time since, the, since Moshe Rabbeinu, since Moses. And how would he do this? He said to himself, Today my capital is in Hebron, which is in the middle of the tribe of Judah. I need to find an independent capital. I will conquer this Jebusite city. We'll unify the 12 tribes of Israel around it and make it an independent capital for the nation of Israel, which is in fact what he did. Here he engineers the concept, which has been used by nations all over the world. We can say Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, is one great example. This was D.C., David City, okay, to use the exact same acronym. This, in fact, was the original design of the city of David. The only problem, of course, was the Jebusite to plan this city as being one of the most defensible cities in the entire world, which is where David and his military prowess come in hand. Jebusite city will unify the 12 tribes of Israel around it and make it an independent capital for the nation of Israel, which is, in fact, what he did. Here he in- So you had this city, a Jebusite city, surrounded by Judah in the south and by Benjamin in the north, meaning this was not a part of any tribe. This he said to himself, Today my capital is in Hebron, which is in the middle of the tribe of Judah. I need to find an independent capital. I will conquer this Jebusite. David's goal was to unify the 12 tribes of Israel for the first time since, the, since Moshe Rabbeinu, since Moses. And how would he do this? the concept, which has been used by nations all over the world. We can say Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, is one great example. This was D.C.